Being diagnosed with melanoma skin cancer can be a worrying time, but half the battle is understanding ways to treat and identify any spread. Once your melanoma has been removed, your doctor will discuss the need to remove some extra skin around your melanoma called a wide local excision to ensure there are no residual cells left behind. You may be asked to consider a follow-up procedure called a sentinel lymph node biopsy which has to be done at the same time as the wide local excision. To understand about the sentinel node biopsy, first we need to explain the lymphatic system. Throughout your body runs the lymphatic system, a drainage network that carries fluid around your body to help fight toxins, bacteria, viruses, cancer cells. Along the system are filters, or lymph nodes which help to trap any toxins. These lymph nodes are grouped together and are arranged like roundabouts on a map located throughout the body, which filter into lymph node basins, and these are the areas we are interested in. They are found mainly in your armpits, neck and groin area. For example, if you had melanoma on your arm, the lymphatic fluid would drain to the lymph nodes in your armpit. The first lymph node that cancerous cells would drain to is referred to as the sentinel lymph node. A sentinel node biopsy allows your surgeon to find the lymph node which looks after the area of your body where your melanoma was and then remove it for analysis to see if cancerous cells have managed to grow there. When the lab looks at the node, there will be melanoma seen in about 1 in 5 patients. If this is the case, then we know you're at a higher risk of further spread within the body at some time in the future. In the nuclear medicine department, the scar will be injected with a very small volume of radioactive material. As this passes along the lymphatic system, the drainage pathway can be tracked in the scanner. When you're in theatre, the surgeon will also inject a blue dye into the scar. The combination of the radioactivity and the blue staining helps to identify the sentinel node. Tissue from the wide local excision, together with the sentinel node that has been removed, are sent to the lab to be checked for cancer cells. Having a sentinel node biopsy is entirely your choice and you may wish to decline the test. Not all people who have melanoma will benefit from this test because there can be risks. If you have a negative sentinel node biopsy test at this point, in a small number of people, 1 in 25, the melanoma may still come back in the future. However, we know that a negative test means that it is less likely to be a problem than if you have a positive test result, and regardless of the result, there will be follow-up appointments. Most people who are offered the test go on to have the procedure but like all surgical procedures, it can carry risks. For more detailed information about the surgery and what happens, please watch our second video which explains the procedure and the risks that can occur. If you have any further questions, contact your medical team, clinical nurse specialist or our melanoma helpline.